When you go to New Zealand on holiday, they wine you and dine you and wait on you hand and foot. In 1970, the ideal in-flight nibble was either crayfish dressed up like a drag queen or this jelly meat salad nightmare. Since then, it's been boiled down to a single serving of cookies and chippies. Air New Zealand changed up its snack offerings in 2021, but now it's at it again with something called the Great Kiwi Snack Off. It's really our nationwide search for the most tastiest and satisfying snacks that we can serve on board. Thankfully, Air New Zealand is avoiding possible riots by keeping the Koruawa cheese and crackers and the pre-landing lollies. But everything else could be chucked out in favour of new Kiwi Kai. But if you're thinking of submitting your tin spaghetti pizza or your double pie white loaf sandwich, maybe think again. Mm. Mm. There's a couple of criteria that we're really focusing in on. We really want to showcase the best of Aotearoa. So looking for uh, New Zealand made products, celebrating provenance from the regions, Maori and Pacifica and social enterprise. What then is the perfect snack food to munch on at 20,000 feet? Well, to help us digest this very important question, we've got travel blogger Megan Singleton. And Megan, firstly, you are an experienced traveller. What are some of the key considerations when serving food on a plane? Oh, we need to think about how messy it's going to be. Like, I would love a lamington on a plane, <laughs> but the coconut would probably end up... Can you imagine in between flights every time someone's got to get out the hoover? Um, smelly. You don't want probably people eating hot fish pies or something on the plane. What? Yeah, curries, I don't think so. I don't think that'll work. Uh, the speed with which the uh, hosties need to turn the project around would be something else that you would need to consider. OK, so what are we going to go with, Megan? What would be your choice for the new snack? Well, I don't think you can go wrong with a party pie. I mean, who doesn't love a party pie? Um, you could do the, the sushi and all of that, ones. but at the end of the day... Yeah, wait, tell you what, you could have the fanciest hors d'oeuvres coming out of your oven at home. You bring out the party pies and everyone's <laughs> leaving the sushi and sashimi and going straight yeah. in for your party pies. Or an Anzac biscuit. You could, especially across the Tasman, wouldn't that be fun? You could do Anzac bickies. In fact, wish you guys were here. <laughs> I whipped up a little batch this afternoon. Oh, you're yeah. lobbying. You're lobbying for the, for the, for the job. Uh, does, does Air New Zealand need to change its in-flight snack menu? No, well, I think I'm a little bit over the corn chips, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I asked some people on my Facebook page today what they would like. I would book a flight for kiwi chip and dip. And that's some things that people have suggested. Right. Yeah, a little, imagine a little pot of Nestle, you know, dip and French onion soup and some little chippies. Yeah, or what about a cheese scone and butter? I don't think they're necessary, but Air New Zealand's pretty good at just creating extra little things that you just remember them for, and I think this will be one of those. So the little package with the chips and the French onion dip, you're basically talking about a kiwi list snack, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that what that is? I thought they were cheesy. Yeah, they are. Jesse I've doesn't know a lot yeah, about Jessie food. Yeah, Jesse doesn't eat snack food. Um, I like where you're going, though. Something that takes a bit of assemble, opening, all the rest that uses up a little bit of time on the flight. Yeah. Let's be honest, though, here. We don't need these snacks. The flights are only an hour long. Don't we just need to stop being such greedy gutses and go snackless? We probably should actually go snackless. Um, and it's extra weight on the plane, uh, and so we probably don't need, the aircraft doesn't need it, we don't need it, but it's a nice little value add, and it makes Air New Zealand just stand out a little bit. I think it's quite cool. All right then, Megan, any final suggestions then for Air New Zealand of uh, a snack to beat them all? How about the South Island cheese roll? Uh, that would be amazing. Pretty much anything out of the Edmunds cookbook, actually, probably <laughs> would work. Well, Megan, thank you so much for your ideas. Great to chat. Thanks, guys. See you later. Look, Patrick Gow's here tonight. I think we can, surely we can solve this one here on the desk tonight. What do you think? I'm, I've got an idea that basically on the flight you get discontinued food. <laughs> so your little snack would be a potential because that's yeah. gone, but my pick would be the snifter. 
I like to see the sniffer only available in flight on Air New Zealand. Yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah. Or the tangy fruits. Tangy like fruits. Yeah. Oh, Brilliant. That would be wonderful. Imagine if that's the only place you could get them. It's a little bit processed, Jeremy, <laughs> a little bit sugary. Here's my suggestion. Okay, picture this. You fly up in the air, mm. everyone's comfortable, and yeah. the hostess has come out and put one of these Kevin in front Curry. of every New Zealander. Oh. <laughs> a delicious Fiji that you can cut in half and enjoy the delicious. Little like a yeah, punishment. Could, yeah, because it. <laughs> There's not many of those around at the moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Very seasonal, isn't it? They are a bit seasonal, sure. Okay, I'm fine. quite on board with the idea of a little party pie on a flight. I think that's delicious. But don't muck around with mints. I reckon go straight to the good stuff. A power pie. <laughs> Creamed power from Tukamaru Bay. Oh. Get that in ya. Power. You, the I beef just, of the sea. You, <laughs> I just say you're the first person to complain when someone heats up fish in the microwave. How's that going to smell at 20,000 feet? Look, I think the biggest problem with someone heating up fish in the microwave is that there's none for me. <laughs> <laughs> and so that sort of amplifies the disgusting okay. smell. Everyone yeah. can have one. Hey, look, I, I'm going to get booed here probably, but I'm no food, no snacks, oh. no cookies. Ooh. Ooh. Boo, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, this is no cookies, nothing. Why? Okay. Well, look, you're there to fly, and when I'm next on Air New Zealand, I'll be polite, but I'll say to them, I'm here to fly, not to eat. <laughs>